Insurance companies have again faced scrutiny at the Banking Royal Commission over their handling of natural disaster claims. Suncorp and its subsidiary Amy were in the spotlight for shortchanging some victims of fires and floods and leaving one family waiting years for help. Sarah Farnsworth reports. Three years on and the mop up after the 2015 Hunter Valley storm is well and truly over for most. Except Bernadette Heald, who is still waiting for insurer Suncorp to rebuild her home, which was so badly damaged it left her daughter with special needs afraid. She would wake up in the middle of the night terrified that her house was going to fall on her head. And it's very hard as a parent to actually um, tell her that it's safe. The family was initially denied temporary accommodation. Well, they were supposed to help us and we got nothing. We were insufficiently compassionate to their situation. Some corp subsidiary, Amy, was also accused of shortchanging policyholders who lost their homes when a bushfire tore through Wye River in Victoria. The Commission heard how Amy offered cash settlements that were significantly lower than the cost of repairing or rebuilding. One offer was $300,000 less than two builders' quotes. The majority of total loss claims are cash settled. Um, I, can't, I can't confirm uh, that at the moment. The insurer also charging people premiums for properties that no longer existed. We uh, should not have done that. In the wake of the fires, ASIC found Amy's ads had misled customers by implying all the work would be done for them. In the end, out of a possible $1.8 million penalty, Amy paid just over $43,000 in fines for misleading advertising. That's just 0.001% of the $426 million in premiums its complete replacement cover brought in last year. A small price to pay for business. Sarah Farnsworth, ABC News, Melbourne.